Okay. We've, uh, um, I've, this is a matchup I've seen, not the player matchup, but the Orcane Sylve. Uh, this is a matchup I see literally every week. <laughs> so, um, it's an interesting one, because, like, Orcane can get boxed out pretty hard by the, the massive disjoint that Sylph commands. But, man, these bubble edge guards are just so insanely brutal to Solanos. I mean, he's just, he's such a big boy, he doesn't have that many moves that are fast uh, out of the air like that, that he can just kind of fall out of bubbles and land with. Uh, it is, it becomes a really tough time. Alkali already racking up so much damage with it, finding that kill confirmed with the down strong. Right? Brunch is firing back, just inches away from that back air snipe. It's away from the bear pin. A tactic Brunch is known to... Oh, shit! Yeah, oh, I just guess it goes so deep with these back air strings, and... You know, if you DI it wrong, he just gets the kill. They're scary. It's it's like DIing old Zetter Fair, where, like, you have to DI it in uh, to not get hit by this... Ooh, nice bubble butt catch. Um... You have to DI the back air in so that you don't get ca caught by the, the strong one. You have to DI it out as well so that you don't just keep getting hit by the weak ones. And so you, you, it puts you in a really weird position. No puddle. Oh, a little too close was going to punish it with an F strong, I think. There it is. Top, though. With setups. I tried to bubble bomb a bunch. Got a dash attack to catch before the hitbox to reach. Yeah, still looking a little dire though. I mean, Brunch is uh, not taking center stage right now. Definitely been pushed to the sides a lot, and that is really, really rough for Sylph. Okay. Coming back now. You got just throwing out these down tilts, and uh, Alkali has called them out several times, getting a lot out of it, getting the first game out of it. The Gates counterpick is very interesting from Brunch. I'm not sure why you would want to pick this just outright. Huh. I suppose you can chase with your up tilt on the platform pretty reliably. Oh. Okay. Okay, so actually the uh, uh, the the replays were mixed up, so we're, uh, we got the Jewelsville pick from Brunch, which actually makes a lot more sense to me. It's still all from the same set. Though. Oh my god! Exact opposite of what the other game showcased. Yeah, I I really like this pick from Brunch because it gives you a pretty flat stage, um, which obviously Silva's gonna like against a character like Orkane. So you have a lot of you have a lot of room to just face it and uh, bat him out with the disjoint. Um, and I'm assuming a, a Abyss was banned. But it's still also a bit of a double-edged sword because this is a stage where half the time you're recovering on Endless Abyss against Orkane. <laughs> So you're going to eat a lot of bubbles, just always, with absolutely nothing to help you a lot of the time. Uh-oh. Up tilt getting caught by the droplet falling, that's really funny. We've got a puddle on the platform here. Brunch is waiting it out, just facing the dash attack and send Alkali right back off stage. I'm up with the guys Uh oh. Oh. I I really don't like Alkali just backing down from that. Like, it went to clear the flowers, which is good. It's not a bad way to spend your time. But I really, I really dislike that Alkali just backed off from the edge guard. Oh, okay, here we're we go. Back. Spacing it out with dash attack again. Waiting for the pillar, or I keep saying pillar, puddle on it. Well, there's been like a ton of frags on the stream today. I don't blame you for gonna get. Yeah, 
I got rock on the brain. Got rock on the brain. All right. Um, Brunch taking that one pretty convincingly. We're, we're, we're on the board for both of them now. So now is the Gage game, which is the Ord Cane counterpick, not Brunch's counterpick. Alkali taking us to Gage, which uh, I still think is interesting. I just, I can't think of, like, any real reason that either of these two players care that much about going to Gates. So I guess in, in, that in and of itself is, is why it was picked, right? It's probably a mostly neutral stage. So far, both uh, just doing a good job getting a few hits in neutral here. Just waiting to push the other off stage where a lot of the action's gonna happen. I feel like we've seen a lot of that today. We've seen the uh, we've seen a whole lot of just is game plans more focused on on pushing people off stage and edge guarding rather than these on stage kills. I thought that was how you put this game, though. I mean, it's certainly a way to play it. Oh, catching the bubble butt. Hasta mañana. So far, Brunch doing a good job keeping this lead. Just has when when he's found these openings, he's just been relentless. Just racked up so much percent. Gets out of those bubbles real quick. Alkali not really finding anything out of it. Parries the droplet that time into the back air. That's uh, I, I you don't see that too often. Got, got these bottle parry punishes. God. I'm not even trying to alliterate, but my brain's, like, slowing down to a cognitive level of a third-year high schooler in elementary school. Off the yeah. top. I like the, um, I, I really like the adaptations Brunch has made already. Let's just, you can tell from, from game one to now, he's just playing so much more reactively and uh, waiting for Alkali to do something when they're both in neutral rather than uh, just throwing out a big hitbox and getting punished for it. Getting caught off stage though, but burrowing in and uh, Alkali wasn't ready for it. It was just across the stage, down tilting. And Alkali off once again, forcing the uh, puddle recovery. I almost said it again. I caught myself. They could just, they could just give Orcane Crack Pillar and nothing would change. I disagree. Nothing would change. I think many things would change if you did that. Runs off the top, taking game three very cleanly. Indeed. So uh, we're headed to Abyss for Alkali's counter pick, and I think this one's a little bit questionable. We're we're up uh, we're up two one for brunch, and you want to take Sylvanas to the flattest stage in the universe? I don't know about that. I will say though, on the bright side, I I can see where um it, you you pick it because it's really hard for the Sylvanas to escape from any of their combos now. When you do get in, and the edge guards are going to be especially brutal with not even a platform to try and mix up on. Um, but we haven't really seen Alkali go for these big edge guards too much, anyways. So I feel like it's not going to help that much compared to what uh, neutral advantages Brunch is going to find here. Coming back, no pillar. I, again, I said pillar. Damn it. <laughs> Red puddle. I'm in you know what's happening is your brain is going through withdrawal of not having any Mountain Dew Ball Hop last in your system. I don't even drink regular Mountain Dew. Dang, your brain there is really starting to break apart. Good up air confirmed. Still at that stock. Alright. Didn't get the parry punish. Let's see a redemption here. Four air. I love it. I, I, I love the way Brunch is just waiting for everything. And that means Alkali has to really be creative and force Brunch to do something and bait him into doing something. Um, and so far, it just hasn't been able to find uh, a way to break this wall. Break the, chain. break the cycle! 
the bear pin snipe. Look out. Do not peek your head up from that wall. There is a sniper on your position. Yeah. Oh, God. Bye-bye. And ceremonious way to end the set. So quiet. I mean, just you could tell Alkali was just very overwhelmed on that stage. I, I really do think it was a, a bad mistake to counterpick there. Unfortunate. Um, but that was still uh, a winner's side, I believe. So Alkali is still in.